Mike fans, this is our 17th underground event coming to you from an undisclosed location. Brought to you in part by Zeus Energy Drink, Slap Fight Championship, Undisputed! Since 2017, Slap Fight Championship has been traveling across the country hosting events in undisclosed locations, building and developing the sport of slapping, discovering new talent, and introducing fans to the world's craziest combat sport. We have found the toughest men in the United States and tested them at the barrel, all for you, the fans. But this sport is not for everyone. This sport is for you. This is Slap Fight. Here we are in Chicago, Illinois. Slap Fight Championship brings you Undisputed. From an undisclosed location deep within this loading dock, we are about to present to you an evening of underground professional slap fighting. But this is no ordinary fight card. This card is full of incredible matchups, big surprises, and legendary slappers. Beginning with the Bayou Bastard versus Young James. It's the super fan versus the former champion. Let's get started. Young James joined Slap Fight Championship in 2017 and became the inaugural Slap Fight Light Heavyweight Champion. He ruled over the division until Slap Fight 4 in 2018 when an unknown slapper named Wolverine took the title in a seventh round TKO, sending Young James into retirement. James returned, however, in 2019 and challenged Wolverine for the title at Warriors Collide, lasting 14 ill-fated rounds with the legend. He then faced Frank the Tank for the People's Championship, only to fall short in the seventh round. Young James next took on the middleweight champion in a non-title catchweight match at Titans Clash and pulled off the upset of the night, going 10 rounds with the middleweight champion and winning a unanimous decision. With the biggest win of his career under his belt, Young James is now prepared to make another run at the light heavyweight championship. I'm Young James and I'm back to take this over. I came with a stronger head on my shoulders and I'm ready to go in harder than ever. Anything could happen. I mean, I ain't gonna tell you what's gonna go on or anything. It's a slap fight, anything can happen. I can get knocked out, he can get knocked out. Anything can happen, like I said. His opponent, the Bayou Bastard, entered the Slap Fight Adrenaline Tournament in 2019 as a super fan and shocked the fans when he defeated veteran Lead Belt Chapman. He went on to face Battle Axe in the Redemption Tournament and then top 10 ranked Baby Ray, defeating him by decision after 10 incredible rounds. With big wins over Lead Belt Chapman, Big Gulp, Mr. Crystal, and now Baby Ray, Ricky, the Bayou Bastard, feels that after cutting from heavyweight to light heavyweight, it's his time to make a run at a top 10 pound for pound ranking. Good luck, Ricky. I started cutting weight on my own well before I fought Battle Axe, but it just wasn't enough. And I figured the gym would probably be the best place to do it. Yeah, the experience at the barrel matters, but at the same time, it's a fight and go anyway. I'm confident, that's all I'm gonna say. I don't know what y'all see, but so be it, thanks. I just wanna say thank you guys for having my back with everything. It's been a rough road, but I'm back. I got you guys, let's go in with a bang. Ladies and gentlemen, your first matchup on our main card will be a light heavyweight matchup scheduled for 10 rounds. Introducing first from Terrytown, Louisiana, he is our super fan Ricky, the Bayou Bastard! And his
his opponent. He is a former slap fight light heavyweight champion. From Harrison, Arkansas, coming off a four-month hiatus, this is Young Hello, fight fans, and welcome to Slap Fight Championship Undisputed. My name is JT Tilly, and I'm so excited to be here with you this evening for a night of professional slap fighting. Now, our card will be incredible, but we're going to start it off with a feature fight between Young James, the former light heavyweight champion, and the former superfan turned professional slapper, the Bayou Bastard. Now, all of our fights this evening will be regulated by Sports Slap USA, and as always, our lead official tonight will be professional fighter Kyron Bowen. Now, we're going to go down to the barrel and listen in to the coin toss. Heads it is. Yeah! And Young James wins the coin toss. He will slap first. One of the first things you'll notice about young James is the size of his hands. In the past, I have compared them to catcher's mitts. Massive hands, and it looks like he's using the Wolverine technique. Coming in hot. Oh, and we've got a flinch by Ricky in the first round. And they're going to call that. That's a warning for Ricky for flinching. If he flinches again during this match, he will lose a turn. Oh, and it looks like we've got a warning issued here by the line official, Young James, for stepping. So each competitor is going to receive a warning in round one. If they commit that foul again, they will lose a turn. Here we are with the bottom of round one. Ricky with the windup. Clean slap by Ricky. You'll notice Ricky's wearing his glasses. At his last fight, Ricky uh, negotiated with the sanctioning body to wear his glasses while slapping and take them off when receiving the slap. And he does believe that's made a big difference in his game. Young James with a solid slap. Now Ricky eats it and turns around to get his glasses. He's right back to the barrel at the bottom of round two. Okay, Ricky's going to check his placement here. One, Here's your windup. Two, three. Oh, Ricky stuns Young James. Young James staggers back. Holy smokes. Young James still having a little bit of an issue here with his equilibrium. Wow. And Ricky is back to the barrel already. He's ready for round three. Young James with a little bit of concern on his face. So far, this is a fantastic fight. I don't think anyone expected it to go this way. Round three. And Young James with another solid slap. All right, bottom of round three, Ricky with the wind up. Two, three, go! Not a bad slap by Ricky. Young James really having a tough time keeping the cotton balls in his ears. In Ricky's last fight, he faced top 10 pound for pound ranked Baby Ray and won a unanimous decision after 10 rounds. That was the biggest win of Ricky's career so far. If he were to pull off a win against former champion Young James, that would immediately be his largest victory. One, Here we go, Young James. Two, three. Not a bad slap by Young James, a little bit high. Ricky to return fire here. Oh, 
Oh, another big shot by Ricky. Cotton ball goes flying. Young James staggers back just a little bit. I have to say, if I were one of the judges, I would probably give Ricky the edge in the fight so far. Uh, each one of the contestants has one warning, and uh, so far Ricky's done the most damage of the two fighters. Young James again with some cotton ball issues. I believe we're in round five. Young James checking his placement. One. Here's your wind up. Two. Three. Another great slap by the former champion. But again, Ricky eats it, turns around and grabs his glasses, and he is right back to the barrel. Great sportsmanship in this fight. One. Surprisingly competitive. Oh, we have another cotton ball issue. I don't know what young James has been doing to wear out the ear holes, but something's happened here, and uh, he now has uh, a, a greater need for a bigger cotton ball, I believe. Yeah. All right, big round of applause for the official for putting the cotton ball in, and we are back to the barrel. One. Bayou Bastard with the windup. Oh, and another big shot by Ricky. If young James is not careful, Ricky could run away with this fight, and we could see a victory for the Bayou Bastard. That would be an incredible victory for Ricky. Ricky is trying to squeak his way into the top 10 pound-for-pound -pound rankings, and this just might do it. Oh, my gosh. Young James with another big shot. Young James turning up the intensity just a little bit here. Here's Ricky with the windup, round six. Two, three. And another solid shot from Ricky, just a little bit of overextension there. I do think Ricky's done enough to be ahead on the scorecards, but this is a scheduled 10 round fight and anything can happen. We are just at the top of round seven. Young James winding up. Two, three. Not bad. Also not good. Oh, and we've got a stepping penalty for Young James. That's the second penalty. That means Young James is going to lose a turn. Okay, it looks like uh, Bayou Bastard's going to refuse the penalty here. He's going to decline. He's going to decline the penalty and just keep going with the match. It's a lot of sportsmanship. That's that's a risky move. Oh, but then he lands a bomb, and young James is staggered again. Wow, the Bayou Bastard looking incredible tonight. Declining penalties, landing bombs. I mean, we are watching the evolution of the Bayou Bastard before our very eyes. Win or lose tonight, what an impressive performance by this kid Looking for a fist bump, getting turned down by young James. Young James checking his placement. One, two, Coming in hot. Three. Big shot from young James. The Bayou Bastard eats it, steps back to grab his glasses, and he's right back to the barrel again. Unbelievable. Oh, we've got a second stepping penalty for young James here. Uh, this is going to be a hard penalty, and I'm going to assume that Ricky's probably going to accept this one. Yeah, I, I think that's fair. Okay, okay. Ricky's going to take this penalty, and uh, young James is going to forfeit his round nine slap. So here we are with Ricky in the bottom of round eight. One, two, three. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to have a warning here for clubbing. Uh, the Bayou Bastard now has a warning for flinching and a warning for clubbing. If he clubs again, he will lose a turn. Bayou Bastard trying to make a quick deal with the sanctioning body. He wanted to give up his free turn. 
Uh, unfortunately, there are no free turns at Slap Fight. What's happened here is Young James has forfeited a turn. So here we are at the bottom of round nine. The Bayou Bastard at the bottom of round nine with an opportunity to seal this victory for himself. One, two, three, oh! Good shot by Ricky. A little bit high, but I don't think it's a violation. Now, Young James does has an he does have an opportunity here to make a little bit of an impact in the fight, but he's going to have to do something drastic here because, by my estimation, he is behind on the scorecards. Young James with a deep breath. One, it's it's clutch time. Here two, we go. Three, oh! Okay, that's not bad. I don't know if that's going to be enough to win the match, but uh, we're going to find out here in just a few minutes. Fantastic sportsmanship with these two. It looks like we've got one more slap in the match, and it's the Bayou Bastard. The Bayou Bastard looking to seal the deal himself. Here we go. Here's your wind-up for round Five, 10. Two, three, and another fantastic shot by the Bayou Bastard, and we have just seen an incredible 10-round light heavyweight feature fight, and we'll be right back with the judges' decision. Congratulations to your winner by unanimous decision, the Bayou Bastard. Thank you. 